This facility is really a partnership in this community. The first money that came in here was private sector money from Elizabeth Lene and Carl Kappa. It wouldn't be here without them financing it at the beginning. It wouldn't be here, of course, without Greg Peterson. You know, there's an old uh, proverb in the Old Testament that says, where there is no vision, the people perish. And uh, the opposite of that on the positive side is that where there is no vision, things like this don't happen. The Jackson Center is here because of vision. And uh, we're fortunate that people uh, in this room have helped make it happen. I would say that uh, this f job here to restore this basement as well as the other restoration uh, in the Jackson Center has uh, more or less been a, a triple win. Um, it's been a win just for the building. The building now is ready for another 30 or 40, maybe 50 years, maybe more. Uh, the building was not in that great a shape when we took it over as the Jackson Center. And now it's going to not cost as much money for the Jackson Center to keep it going because we've done the work in terms of energy efficiency, new wiring and all, all the in internals to make it a, a better building. Uh, it's a win for the community, I think for Jamestown. Uh, I think when people drive by on this side of town and they see this facility, even if they don't come in, uh, it sends out positive vibes. And when they do come in, they want to come back uh, and they're going to want to use this place. So it's been a win for the community. And then, of course, it's been a win for the Jackson Center. Uh, I think that if Robert Jackson were alive today and realized all that had been done uh, not promoting him exactly, but promoting his ideas and what he stood for in his generation. Uh, one person in Washington that I met in the course of being the executive director here was a historian of the 20th century, well known in Washington, who said Jackson is one of the people on two hands that you can count during that 1940 World War II period that made all the difference in not only our country, but in the world. And so the fact that his ideas and what he stood for are going to be uh, on a new, are, are on and will continue to be on a new level uh, of understanding so people don't forget uh, what he stood for. Uh, that's been a win also. So, uh, but of course, this vision idea is great, but if there's not something behind it, uh, it doesn't get done. And uh, I've mentioned the private sector, and today we're going to be recognizing. Uh, uh, the government's participation, Bill Parment was very helpful there, and Linda Swanson uh, from the Sheldon Foundation. Uh, th that foundation has been in on several projects, uh, the Hulquist Foundation, and after this is done, I'm going to ask Linda to go upstairs and hang a plaque. If you want to get a little extra photo op, uh, <laughs> we'll do that upstairs. And we're going to hang a plaque for Hulquist out in the entrance room uh, as you come in. Uh, the city of Jamestown has also been helpful here from in, in their uh, support of us, but today uh, is, uh, is we're going to shine the star on Bill because we wouldn't be this job here that you're standing in the midst of wouldn't been done without Bill's help. Uh, before I introduce Bill, though, and before we clip this ribbon, Linda, do you want to say anything on behalf of Sheldon? Um, just that I joined the foundation. Lasser was. Um definitely a champion of this uh, along with the other trustees and um, they've given multiple times to the capital improvements in this um, building and are very proud of it um, as you all are too so thank you for recognizing their efforts well thank you and please convey our thanks to the, the Shel Ralph C. Sheldon Foundation uh, board and, you know a person that works in Albany tries to figure out how the state tax dollars should be spent uh, we always ask ourselves the question, is this a legitimate expenditure of state tax dollars? And I, I was convinced by your arguments and, and Greg Peterson's over a period of time that this is something that the state of New York and their taxpayers should invest in. And I was happy to be uh, th there to be able to guide these appropriations and uh, to basically preserve the legacy of Robert Jackson here in Jamestown, thanks to uh, Betty Lene and Carl Kappa and the foundations, I think is a, a wonderful statement for us in this generation that we're are looking to the generation of our, my parents, of your parents basically, and we're preserving the ideals that Robert Jackson stood for and trying to uh, 
develop it in a way that future generations, not only of people in Jamestown and New York, but across the world, will uh, respond to. And of course, you know, Robert Jackson believed in a system of international justice that he uh, not only uh, believed in, but made work at Nuremberg, in which uh, is still not universally accepted in this country or abroad, but which, uh, if we have hope for the future, we all will uh, repair to at some point, because without international justice and a rule of law that governs not only nations, but the individuals within nations, uh, we are probably looking at a less stable and less productive world. And so I think that uh, Jamestown, the Robert Jackson uh, Foundation and a group uh, should be commended for for taking this on. I know Greg Peterson, our unofficial official historian here, uh, <laughs> uh, was a major part of the vision that you spoke of. And uh, again, I, uh, Raleigh, you know I, I'm not big on ribbon cutting. <laughs> They're not my favorite thing, but uh, it's great that we've gotten to this point, and I hope that uh, this uh, will be the start of a, a, a more active role in the, in the community for Jackson because you have this great facility to share with the community and, and bring people in. So uh, with that, I'll, I'll just say uh, it's great to be with you. One, two, go. Hey, all right. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Well, I think the investment is a good one particularly in the facility because it's long-lasting. It'll be here for 30 or 50 years, and uh, future generations will utilize this facility and learn about Robert Jackson, and particularly learn about Robert Jackson's commitment to justice, uh, international justice, and uh, uh, his uh, sense that we need to be involved in a rule of law. And uh, so I think that as this investment uh, matures, uh, more and more people will get that opportunity to become acquainted with Jackson and his work. And of course, there will be other community activities in this building. The building is used uh, already for uh, small group gatherings and uh, forums, uh, lectures and that type of thing. So uh, the, the investment by the state uh, creates both uh, an opportunity to advance the legacy of Robert Jackson but also to provide a community facility for group gatherings. And uh, I just think uh, that it's an investment well made, particularly because we've had partners, both private sector people, uh, uh, Betty Lene and Carl Kappa were early investors in the Jackson Center and the foundations here in Jamestown. And so when you have uh, funding partners, it makes uh, the money uh, that state taxpayers invest go further. And, uh, and so it's a great partnership, and I think we, uh, we're going to be well served by uh, this investment.